So what's going on everyone? If you've been tuned into the channel these past few weeks, then you probably have caught one of my videos that I've done in partnership with Verizon surrounding their 5G ultra wideband service, which is currently available in parts of select cities. And thankfully I am in one of those 5G expansion areas. So needless to say, I have been enjoying myself, but the point of this video is to help you understand 5G a little bit better. So I asked you all on Twitter and Instagram for questions that you have about 5G. And in this video, I'm gonna be answering some of those questions. Now, big thank you to everyone who sent questions in. However, due to legal reasons, I will not be able to say your names in this video, but I do want to let you know that if you did send a question in, I saw each one and I appreciate you sending one in. Now let's get into these questions. But before we jump into them, I want to give a big thank you to Verizon for sponsoring this video and supporting the channel. Let's get into it. So for the very first question, are they gonna charge more for 5G? Now I do wanna preface this by saying a lot of my experience has been with Verizon, so a lot of my responses to these questions will be based on that experience. So all of Verizon's monthly mobile plans and prepaid plans thankfully do include Verizon's 5G nationwide network. However, this change doesn't affect your plan's data amount. Your device is still gonna receive 4G LTE, and if you have a 5G enabled device, you can access the 5G nationwide network where it's available. And you're gonna have 5G ultra wide band access when you're subscribed to one of the following unlimited plans. Now those plans include the Get More Unlimited plan, the Do More Unlimited, or the Play More Unlimited plan. Or if you have the Above Unlimited or Beyond Unlimited plans before August 20th, 2020. But if you happen to be subscribed to their Start Unlimited plan or a metered plan, you can still add 5G ultra wideband access for an additional $10 a month. Okay, now moving on to our next question. Do you feel 5G has been developed and made available in enough cities and thus devices which 5G are needed right now? Same with Wi-Fi 6, not sure those devices are needed right now, thanks. So there are currently already more 5G areas now than there were at the beginning of this year, at least with Verizon specifically. So you can kind of consider it preparing for the future. I know Verizon launched 5G nationwide in October, which is currently available in over 2,700 cities and 5G ultra wideband is now available in over 60 cities. 43 stadiums and arenas, seven airports, and they're still continuing to build out coverage. Now this next question, what cities in Florida have 5G? What I'm gonna do for you in this case is actually put a link down below in the description box that you can refer to. That's gonna have all of Verizon's 5G coverage areas so you can check it out for yourself and see not only Florida, but any other places as well that you might be curious about. All right, now moving right on along. The next question, will 5G ever make Wi-Fi obsolete? So I'll say at this time, I don't feel like it will make Wi-Fi obsolete. 5G and Wi-Fi have their like respective places. However, 5G ultra wideband can be a good alternative to Wi-Fi, especially with this secured connectivity compared to, you know, public open Wi-Fi hotspots. All right, let's see. How fast is 5G maximum internet speed? In nation testing, median 5G ultra wideband speeds are around 879 megabits per second. Now we have a question here and they want to know, will 5G ever be able to penetrate buildings as well as LTE? So I'd say it's too early to tell right now, but I will say in the case of Verizon, they are working on ways to improve and expand their 5G coverage areas to work in more places. Okay, let's see who do we have next. Why is this so much better than what we are currently using? Like what's all the hype about? All right, I'll say this. The advancements in which 5G will bring is you know, more than just faster speeds. It'll also have lower latency and it's gonna also greatly improve data capacity so that more devices can take advantage of optimal speeds. For example, you'll be able to download things like larger files. And on top of that, it can also help in the creation of smart cities and autonomous driving and better communication in reference to many things like video chatting and new ways that apps can deliver content with speeds, you know, that are more readily equipped to handle it. We really haven't even seen its you know, full potential yet. Now this next one, please explain the difference between millimeter wave and wideband 5G. So they're really, you know, the same thing. Verizon's 5G ultra wideband uses a millimeter wave spectrum to deliver the fastest 5G experience available in the world today. All right, now next up, we have a question. And she says, first of all, what's up queen? What's up? <laughs> Secondly, other than speed, how else will 5G play a factor in devices? What it's gonna do is bring ultra low latency, which is gonna help improve responsiveness. You're also gonna have massive data capacity, which like we said a little bit earlier, you can then download bigger files and it's also going to give ultra fast speeds which means you can download movies in seconds okay so let's see who we got next what are some differences between 4g and 5g 
5G Ultra Wideband promises all sorts of improvements in things like speed and latency that can help make smart cities, autonomous vehicles, and other cool applications that we haven't even thought of yet to make a reality. All right. How long will it take before we can use it in broader areas? So I can speak in reference to Verizon again as I'm more versed there. Now I do know they recently announced their 5G nationwide service and you're able to tell which network you're on by just looking in the top corner of your device. But 5G ultra wideband is gonna be rolling out to more places in 2021. Now, let's see who do we have next. Is it only available on the iPhone 12? So 5G thankfully is available on many devices which not only include the iPhone 12, but also the latest devices from Samsung and Google. So what I'll do is link Verizon's current 5G lineup down below in the description box for you. Now, our last question, how will it help in the gaming industry for people like me who like to game? what you're gonna notice is major improvements in things like download speeds. You're also gonna have a faster AR and a faster VR experience. And then on top of that, cloud-based gaming can be smoother as well with less latency. So the thing with 5G Ultra Wideband is that it can allow console quality gaming from your phone without the need of an actual console. But that is going to do it, y'all. I'm gonna wrap it up here. I do hope this video helped in answering some of your questions that you all had about 5G. I know in doing this campaign with Verizon, it definitely helped answer some of mine. But until the next one, y'all, as always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out.